I was created to be the world's most advanced and most beautiful, fully autonomous android. Japan just delivered fully performing female robots. Japan is widely called the world's robot capital, thanks to its never halting and continuous advancements in robot technology. Let's take a look at the latest happenings in the Japanese robot sphere. Japan developed therapy robots donated in Poland. Therapy robots developed by a Japanese research institute have been donated to medical facilities in Poland that are caring for Ukrainian evacuees. The robots modeled on baby seals were presented through Japan's embassy in Warsaw. Two facilities in Poland will get a pair of the robots called PARO. The devices have been approved for medical use in Europe. The care centers say they plan to use them to help lower stress and improve sleep quality among evacuees. PARO was developed by the National Institute of Advanced Industrial Science and Technology, or AIST, located in Tsukuba near Tokyo. The researcher behind the robot says it has been used to help improve the mental health of people who have experienced large earthquakes in Japan. Shibata Takanori, chief senior researcher at AIST, says, I'm hoping this will spark discussions about how Japan can get involved with helping evacuees, not only in Poland, but also in other neighboring countries and Ukraine itself. A look at Japan's first four-legged robot. Move over, Spot. There's a new quadruped robot in town. Meet Kawasaki's Bex. Unveiled at this year's International Robot Exhibition in Tokyo, Bex is a four-legged robot that's inexplicably modeled after an ibex, a species of wild goat that's native to parts of Eurasia and Africa. Bex came out of the company's Kaleido program, which has seen it work on bipedal robots since 2015. Partway through that project, Kawasaki's engineers decided to build a robot that could both move quickly across level ground and navigate tricky terrain. As you can see from the video, Bex features a set of wheels on its knees, allowing it to move faster on smooth surfaces than the glacial pace it plods along when walking. Bex can carry approximately 220 pounds of cargo. In addition to transporting construction materials and the like, Kawasaki envisions it carrying out remote industrial site inspections, much like Spot is already doing at Hyundai factories in Korea. To that end, the top half of Bex is fully modular, so it doesn't have to look like a goat. But if you ask us, what kind of monster wouldn't want a goat protecting their factories? Green weeding robot tested in rice paddies. A robot designed to provide a green method of weeding rice paddies is being tested out on a farm in Nagano Prefecture, central Japan. The one meter long robot, developed by a Tokyo-based venture firm, is solar powered and moves on a programmed route for up to 10 hours. Screw rotors on the underside churn the water in the paddy, removing young weeds. Muddy water also helps to suppress weed growth by reducing sunlight. The robot is expected to be as effective as the ducks used by some farmers to remove weeds without using chemicals. The owner of the paddies said he hopes the robot will ease the burden of weeding. He said the advanced technology should make farming fun and may encourage more people to take it up. Jacob's Robot to Sample Fukushima Debris Engineering group Jacobs has designed and built a remotely operated robot to collect debris at the Fukushima nuclear power plant in Japan to assess the state of a damaged reactor at the facility. Now rendered inoperable following its catastrophic meltdown in March 2011 due to an earthquake and tsunami, Jacobs is assisting the Tokyo Electric Power Company to assess the power plant's readiness for decommissioning under a five-year framework agreement. As part of the agreement, Jacobs engineers in the UK have created a robotic tool to collect pebble-like debris that was deposited at the bottom of the reactor containment vessel following the accident. The debris comes from fuel and the metal cladding that formed the outer jacket of the fuel rods in Fukushima Daiichi Units 1-3, to the worst hit in the incident. These then re-solidified as fuel debris. To reduce the risk to personnel from this fuel debris, the robot will collect it from the reactors. Debris up to 10 millimeters in size can be collected by the robot in the damaged containment vessel with a bucket-style retrieval device. In readiness of the test, the robot has recently passed 300 extremely demanding functional, operational, performance, and geometric tests to meet the requirements of Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, which is working with the International Research Institute for Nuclear Decommissioning to implement the project. Trials have shown that no more than 8 minutes are needed to collect the samples, and it is expected that, following selection in Japan, a radiation-resistant version of the robot will be built to perform the task. Robots replace Japanese students at graduation. 
Spring graduation ceremonies in Japan had been cancelled because of the coronavirus pandemic, but students at one school were able to attend remotely by controlling avatar robots while logged on at home. These robots, dubbed Numi by developer Anna Holdings, were dressed in graduation caps and gowns for the ceremony at the Business Breakthrough University in Tokyo. The robots' faces were tablets that displayed the faces of the graduates, who logged in at home and controlled the robots via their laptops. One by one, the robots motored toward the podium to receive their diplomas. School staff clapped and said congratulations as University President Kenichi Omei placed the diplomas on a rack mounted on the robot's midsection. The university hopes its approach can be adopted by other schools looking to avoid mass gatherings. Reflecting the human world, however, the school limited the ceremony to just four graduates so that the robots could practice social distancing amid the pandemic. Japan's Android Pets Ease Isolation Nami Hamaura says she feels less lonely working from home thanks to her singing companion Charlie, one of a new generation of cute and clever Japanese robots whose sales are booming in and after the pandemic. Smart home assistants such as Amazon's Alexa have found success worldwide, but tech firms in Japan are reporting huge demand for more human-like alternatives. I felt my circle became very small, said 23-year-old Hamaura, a recent graduate who has worked almost entirely remotely since April 2020. With socializing limited, life in her first job at a Tokyo trading company was nothing like she had imagined. So she adopted Charlie, a mug-sized robot with a round head, red nose, and flashing bow tie who converses with its owner in song. Yamaha, which makes Charlie, describes it as more chatty than a pet, but less work than a lover. He is there for me to chat with as someone other than family or friends on social networks, or a boss I needed to produce a report for, Hamaura told AFP. She is a pre-launch test customer for Charlie, which Yamaha plans to release later. Charlie, tell me something interesting, she asks while typing at her dining table. Well, well, balloons burst when you spray lemon juice, he replies, cheerfully tilting his head to each side. Sharp said sales of its small humanoid Robohan were up 30% in the three months to September 2020 compared with a year earlier. Not only families with children, but also seniors in their 60s and 70s are snapping up Robohan, which talks, dances, and is also a working phone, a Sharp spokesman told media. But the adorable Android, first released in 2016 and only available in Japan, does not come cheap with regular models priced between $820 and $2,250. Charlie and Robohan are part of a new wave of robot companions pioneered by firms such as Sony with its robot dog Abo on sale since 1999 and SoftBank's Friendly Pepper, which had shelves in 2015. Many Japanese people accept the idea that every object has a soul. They want a robot to have a character, like a friend, family or a pet, not a mechanical function like a dishwasher. That's all for this video, folks. See you another time.